Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Decided as we start this game, um, I made a few mistakes in the first, the first video uh, that I did it before. Um, basically, my thinking was to do this as my Twitch video celebration, and I haven't really done it properly. I didn't really, it didn't really, I didn't really go back to it. But I'm now determined to get this started and do it properly. Uh, so second site is a game where you play as a man called John Vidic, who you start off as in like a hospital, psychiatric, psychiatric hospital, um, and you have no idea why you're there, and I'm not going to give too much away, but you discover things about yourself which you're like, what? Told in a few, set, in a few things with um, flashback. Um, sections, but also done very, very good. The music in this game, I have to say, is really, really good. Okay. Could have messed up for some reason. So let's delete that. Let's delete that. I'll start a new game. Music is really good. So this is going to be um, my uh, celebration of sorts, um, but at the moment, because of being unwell and stuff like that, I'm just going to keep doing YouTube content for now. Um, when I feel a lot better, I will do more Twitch. Because of how I'm feeling over this weekend, I'm going to just limit it now to just the streams in the week with Dragon. Um, I don't know if I want to do ones outside that, uh, and there might be a few odd ones, but it'll be a few here and there. Uh, one game that I do want to do, which I promised myself I will do, is the Resident Evil 1 mod Containment by Aidan Watkins. Really, really good uh, modder. Be sure to go and check um, him over on Patreon. Uh, if you want to support him, you get access to some of his mods. And also his um, episode 2 of Containment, which has only come out this weekend. Let's select a level. We've only got isolation at the moment. And we're just going to do normal difficulty. Classified. Who likes you even know? Why do they keep these losers alive? The lab wants it. As what? A crash test dummy? Who knows? He's been wired up to a box all summer. And maybe he's curing cancer. Hey, did you see that? Do you think he can hear us? He can hear all he wants. Hey, Doc, more monkey juice over here. Ah, uh, yes. Be careful with that one. Let me see. Hold his arm a moment. Why can't I remember anything? Ah, I gotta get this door open. I guess that switch out there opens the door. 
If I could just press it somehow. Ah, I don't understand what's going on at all. And what happened to those straps holding me to the bed? I woke up. I noticed them. I imagined them undoing. But whoa! How the... Either I'm going crazy, or I just pressed that switch from here. This is too weird. All right then. What else in this room can I control? I really think I should practice this new ability of mine. It might come in useful. This is incredible. How did I end up being able to do this? What the hell am I? Well, so basically you have uh, psychic, psychic ah, powers. No use. I don't think I can go on. I, I feel so weak. Uh, what? Ah, happening? Uh. That's amazing! I suddenly feel a little better. It worked. That's much better. I think it's time for me to get out of here. Whoever I am. An elevator. A way out. So they say. And he didn't even flinch. No way! That wasn't in his notes. Of course it was. Can I... Would you have agreed to work this? This floor, if it had been me, yeah, it doesn't change a thing. He's safely locked away and drugged up to the eyeballs to boot. Might have asked for better pay, though, and a company car. Hm. You've forgotten who runs this place. Right, run. Run away! I recognize this room. I think I've been here before. don't know who you're messing with. What? How can you do that? Uh, 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 I, I think I killed him. I, I just wanted to get out of here. I didn't need to do that. Oh, you did. You did. I have a feeling that I was locked up here for a good reason. There's a computer in there. I wonder if it can shed any light on my situation. Hey! Well, I was hoping for some patient records, but I guess I'm out of luck. A map. This should help me get my bearings. Right, the code for the elevator is 8461. That should come in useful. Oh. Hey! You're the one that knocked me out, oh. weren't you? So 
I forgot how good this game is. I mean, this game just sets such a great tone for a, a game where you have powers that are like psychic powers. I love it. where I stopped the video last time. John Vanek. Dr. Vanek. What happened? I need, I need to remember. Uh. Oh, sorry about that. A bit of frame rate drop. Apologies. So it saves it automatically. So this game is broken up into chapters. Uh, I might go through this game again on challenging, depending on how what I feel like after I've done it. Shouldn't take me too long. I'm gonna try and get a good chunk of the game done in a small amount of time because um, I want to. I want to try and get this game up, uploaded to the channel as soon as possible. Excuse me. Uh, I'm Vadic. Uh, Dr. John Vadic. Uh, finally. Colonel Joshua Stark, U.S. Marines. Good to meet you, Colonel. This way, Dr. Vadic. Thanks. Call me John. Uh, so, uh, what's all this about? Look, uh, I'm glad to be of help, but one day's notice is barely enough time for me We're to get out of time, Dr. Vadic. Can you handle a sidearm? They said my role was strictly advisory. Then advise yourself to get some weapons training. My squad doesn't nurse made tourists. I'm in a squad now? We'll explain it all at the briefing. 1800 hours. Be there. Okay, so this is six months ago. Um, before the events of what we just had happened. Okay, military training. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I guess I should find someone who knows what's going on. Okay, Dr. Vatic. The Colonel thinks you could do with some physical training. <laughs> Stop it, Vatic. I'm Cotelli, comms expert. Follow me, and we'll see what kind of shape you're in. <laughs> Stop it, Vatic! <laughs> oh, wrong oh line. some basics. Firstly, some simple climbing. Watch me and follow over these walls. Just walk into and over. It's that easy. Pretty simple. Nothing too, um, nothing too, um, hard to figure out. Good work. Keep it up, Vatic. <coughs> Excellent. You may be a pen pusher, but it looks like you keep yourself in good shape. Well done. Okay, through here and on to the next area. Jackson will continue your training. Then, Vatic, get yourself over here. Use your head, Vatic. Let's see if you can get around this problem. <laughs> okay, let's see that upper body strength. Make your way along the edge. Over here, Dr. Vatic. <laughs> right, Jackson's the name. Let's get to work. You've proved you can climb walls, but what about using cover? Lean against the wall of this block. Now, move along the wall. Try leaning out and peeking around the corner. Good. Now, try peeking and push into the corner. 
you should move around onto the next wall. Practice this technique by making your way completely around the block. Good thinking. Keeping your head down makes you harder to see. Right. Hide and seek. Get to the other side of the end block and try to sneak back past me to the tunnel entrance. Here I come, ready or not. Remember, I got a weapon. Perhaps I'll shoot you if I see you. Hmm, <laughs> not bad. Of course, I knew where you were, but felt like it was time to let you move on. Okay, well, make your way through these pipes. So, this, the bits where you do flashbacks are not my favourite parts, but I understand why you have to go through these bits. Try to get all the way to the compound gates without being spotted. Take your time, learn to watch people's behaviour and find a way through. There you are! Fuck. Come on, you can do better than that! I'll be quiet. So in this first part you don't really have your powers, but I think you discover them. Come on, turn around. Turn around, please. Turn around and bugger off. Looks like there's hope for you yet. Go see JC at the rifle range to continue your training. All right, I hear you're finally ready for your pistol training. Come on, this way. First of all, I want to show you how to aim your weapons. Take this pistol and aim it at the indicated target in front of you. That's good. Now, move your aim to the next indicated target. That's good. Now, move your aim to the next indicated target. All right. So that's how you lock on to and cycle your aiming between individual targets. Next, we'll look at fine-tuning your aiming. 
Okay. Lock on to indicated target as before. Good. Now, gently adjust your aim until you're pointing at the head region on the target. Excellent! That's it! Now you know how to aim a firearm. Of course, knowing how to aim is pointless without knowing how to fire. Luckily, firing is the easy part. Just keep your aim steady, and then squeeze the trigger. Here, take this ammo and fire it all into the range. Practice everything I just showed you. We'll continue on once your gun's empty. targets you can hit. You'll get bonus points for head impacts. You're going to need 250 points before I let you proceed with your training. Get into position and wait for my signal to start. Go! a lot of promise. Maybe the colonel was right about you after all. We'll continue your training in the next room, so follow me through. Okay, here's what to do. There will be a number of hostiles taking up strategic positions in this room. You'll need to use cover if you want to beat them. Crouch behind a barrier and stand Ow! against it, like Dex showed you before. Good. Now try leaning out with your gun raised to acquire a target. Really sorry about that, guys. My cat just went to claw, claw uh, paw me in a nice way, and she ended up clawing my back because she wants to jump up. I've just gave her a clout around the head. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that was naughty, so I just had to hit, tell her off. You can lean left, right, or even up over the barrier. Different targets will be easier to eat from different shooting positions. Okay, now we're ready to start. Each hostile will take three hits from your training weapon before they give up. The lights on the barrier will indicate how many hits each has taken. You'll fail and have to try again if you sustain too many hits, so be careful. All right, get into position and wait for my signal. Three, two, one, go!
can perform like that in a combat situation too. All right, let's move on to the next phase of your training. Come on, follow me. Okay, Varric, make your way to the compound gate. This time, you'll need to shoot your way through. You don't have to run and gun, though. Remember your stealth training. It might be better to choose your shots carefully and keep the situation under control. Don't worry about being shot. These test starts sting a bit, but they're harmless. If you're taking too many hits, I'll call you back. Just remember, the real enemy don't fire blanks, and neither do we. Take this seriously, and you'll do okay. Vatic. Oh, I'm out of the game. Oh, I'm out of the game. Leave me alone, Vatic. Daddy. Okay, that's enough messing about. Nice. Well done, Vatic. Looks like you learned something. Franklin wants to see you back at the firing range. Don't keep her waiting. I'm not your enemy, Vatic. Save your efforts for those that are. Hello, Dr. Vatic. I'm Franklin. I'm here to show you how to handle a sniper rifle. Come this way. You've been here previously, so you already know what to expect. It's pretty much the same as before, except for one main difference. 
This time around, you'll be practicing your long-distance skills. So take this sniper rifle and get yourself into position. You'll need 250 points to satisfy me. And as before, bonus points will be awarded for headshots. All right, get ready. Go. Oh, this is so hard to shoot. One headshot, but shit. Fucking stupid aim. Nice work. I'm impressed. Well, that concludes your training, Doctor. It's time we headed to the briefing room for the lowdown on our mission. Come with me. expressed some concern that his research could be a threat in the wrong hands. We've managed to verify his identity as Victor Grianko, seen here studying in St. Petersburg, where after boasting he would revolutionize psychology, he was kicked out for unethical practices. Nine years later, he found a happy home with the Germans, running experiments into psychic phenomena at a POW camp on the Belarusian border. In 1944, the Red Army liberated the camp and claimed that Grianko was killed in the assault. However, rumors soon surfaced of a research project initiated by Stalin in Western Siberia, which ties in nicely with his recent appearances at the U.S. hydrocar pipeline being built outside Tiumen Oblast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like you to go and find out what Professor Grienko has been researching for the past 50 years and why he's so desperate to be granted political asylum. Colonel. Thank you, sir. The Pentagon has given us permission for a small team insertion. The Winter Ice Squad will drop here in Tiumeno Blast, just 30 clicks from the hydrocar pipeline. From there, we will track down Grianko and his research. Any questions? Yeah. Are you crazy? No, Dr. Batty. Any other questions? How did the U.S. approve anything so politically risky? That's classified. Well, then how did you confirm psychic research? Also classified. Then why do you want me here? <sighs> we don't. Our advisor tells us we may need your expertise on the ground. Okay, well, my expertise says that it's a fraud. I debunk psychics. I don't confirm them. Perhaps you never met a real one. Meet Jane Wilde, Dr. Vatty. Uh, I know who she is. She's a mystic. She's a fake. She's your advisor? Hello, John. Good to see you again. Every time I publish, your special advisor attacks my work for being straitjacketed by the scientific method. Doesn't the scientific method call for weighing evidence before drawing a conclusion? Exactly. Then how do you know Grianko is a fraud? Why? Well, I'm not going to Siberia. A pity, because no one else can save us. A 
I think I might make these videos a little bit longer than normal because actually you know what I'm gonna finish it in a minute we've saved it we've saved so that's gonna be it for now um, I'm gonna leave it there the game gets a lot better you get a lot more powers you can you can you can um, take over people's bodies you can you know uh, what's the word um, possess them uh, your powers nice. increase um, they get stronger as you go through the game. But for now, guys, that's going to be where I leave it. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you, guys, for watching the video. You've reached the end. So thank you again. This has been recorded and edited by myself. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. And hit the bell to get notified of when I upload. If you want to see me do live streams, head over to my Twitch. Link is in the description. Thank you once again, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.